Okay, you got this great set of knives, you're ready to go. Culinary school, work in a restaurant, become the next great chef. Whatever your plan is, you need to protect your fingers. So you need a knife guard. Knife guards protect the blade, they protect your fingers, and they protect your knife case. That's good to go. This will last for many, many years. I'm not kidding when I say that. Uh, I've got one here, this knife guard, and this old beater German knife here, this is over 10 years old. It's still going, so it's tough. You need to get the good stuff, the tough stuff. Our knife guards come in all different sizes and shapes. Just want to grab the right, uh, the right size and order the right ones, please. But uh, you're good to go. It's safer that way. Our knife guards are really cool, and uh, now they come in all these other sizes here. Uh, as well as black. So you got black, you got white, uh, everything you want in a quality knife guard. These are made in the USA. Very, very high quality. It's a spring-loaded special polymer plastic. Made to last, too. This, this has a good memory, so snaps around your knife and then it comes back strong. Check it out. Uh, they're, they're in stock, all the sizes. Support your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. This is our new soft-sided knife case. Uh, this case is pretty cool. It's a very heavy-duty Cordura material. It's got some big zippers on it here. And you can uh, open this up, store knives and small tools in the top portion of this case. Close it back up. Open the larger portion. And in the larger portion, you've got a tray, a very handy little tray with all these little compartments in there, okay? And below that, your knives clip in uh, vertically. Uh, let me grab a knife here and show you what I'm talking about. Got two knives here. Uh, here is a beater. Just goes in like this. Doesn't move when the case is moving around. And here's a ceramic Kyocera. Same deal, doesn't move. I like it. So anyway, uh, this goes back in. Protect your knives and your items in there. Zip it up. Close it up. And you're on your way. Pretty nice. Soft-sided carry case. In stock. Another exclusive item, ChefDepot.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello. I'm testing out this Kyocera Baby Santuco knife today. It's pretty cool. One of the nice things about it is the blade is only around 5 inches long. It's got a really nice profile to it. Very, very thin as you can see. And the handle is super ergonomic. This is perfect for anyone with small hands, even medium sized hands, the diameter and the size and the shape and anyone who wants a small knife good for carving slicing dicing you name it it is about perfectly balanced uh, I got it on one finger here right about there there you go so uh, the knife's really nice I like it uh, by the way uh, these babies are all in stock at your sponsor and I'm just gonna cut, cut up this apple here today I'll do a little little carving and show you uh, how easy it goes through the apple so uh, first thing you do, of course, is quarter the apple and remove the core. Uh, quite often when I'm doing this, I like to uh, just pop off the, the top where the uh, stem meets the apple as well. So it gives you a little uh, cleaner fruit. Okay, I'm going to use two pieces of this apple uh, to slice and fan out, and two pieces I'm going to carve. Uh, and we're going to plate it up here. So if you want to slice an apple and get a really nice uh, presentation, you want to kind of flatten it out like this. Of course, those will get reserved for eating. And same thing here. I'm just going to flatten it out like this. Okay, now uh, we're going to do some really thin slices. I'm going to show you just how thin this knife can go. So uh, first slice, there you go. Very, very small, very thin. We're just going to repeat all the way along like this. And uh, a little practice, you can go fast. Like this. OK, 
okay you can see that apples pretty thin I suppose you could go a little bit thinner but it's pretty nice pretty thin I'll give you a close-up of that here as well okay this particular one I'm just gonna carve it a little bit like this Knife's really nice for carving and working with uh, small fruits. So sharp. Wow. Okay. Kind of a zigzag pattern there. And this one. Okay. You can see where I'm going with that, right? Okay. And then I'm going to plate this up for you. Ah, the finished apple carvings. Uh, this is made from one apple. It's not that hard to do with a little bit of practice. Each of these would look nice as a garnish on a specific plate. And wouldn't it be nice if you went out to a restaurant and you sat down and you had a great meal and you were served something like this? A nice garnish. It's not that difficult. Uh, thanks for watching. Support your sponsor chefdepot.com score all your tools there and uh, get cooking with the professional chefs and uh, thanks for watching have a great day real knives for real chefs 50,000 plus products in stock only at chefdepot.com.